Hey guys, this is Tyler again with AR500 Armor. Today we're covering how to properly wear your plate carrier. It is very important to make sure your plate carrier is properly adjusted for your body. Some questions we get a lot are in regards to sizing. Most individuals we recommend a 10 by 12 plate if you wear it to an extra large shirt. Even if you wear a shirt larger than that, 10 by 12 will still provide adequate coverage for what you're looking for, but you have the option to move into an 11 by 14 size. On the reverse side of that, you have 8 by 10 plates, which on most individuals also offer adequate protection of your heart and a good portion of your lungs. What you're looking for when you're talking about protection, you're not looking to cover your abs. Your plate carrier is meant to, you're, you want to have that mobility forward, aft, side to side. Your plate carrier should ride. Uh, if you feel your sternal notch up and on the hard part of your chest, right up until you feel a soft spot, that's where the top of your plate should ride within your carrier. That's going to provide adequate protection of your heart and the large blood vessels surrounding your heart and as much lung coverage as possible while still maintaining the mobility to draw, shoot, and function with a firearm. Now to discuss side plate position. It's going to be individual on each carrier and it's going to determine, it's going to be unique to each individual and it's going to be based on what kind of carrier you wear. But your side plate should pretty much be center mass. So if your cummerbund's adjusted forward and your side plates are adjustable, make sure they ride evenly or whatever is comfortable in your position. Do your side to side motions, do your forward and back motions and make sure you can move freely. Side plate position is really up to the user and it's going to depend on how snug or how loose you wear your plate carrier and the type of cummerbund system you have on your plate carrier. So the back, the back of the plate carrier is something we wanted to cover as well. Where should your plate ride on your backside? What you'll notice with plate carriers is it's typically a one size fits most. They are not tailored to a specific individual. Your back plate should ride as high as you can comfortably tol tolerate in relation to your front plate. So keep in mind, if where your sternal notch is on the front of your body, you want to protect that same height on the back of your body because you can get to those internals from both sides. So when you're talking about the back of your plate, you can count a few vertebrae down on the back of your neck, um, or you can kind of align it with a mirror to make sure your shoulder straps are adjusted to where the back of the plate is properly aligned. One thing we see a lot of guys do when they first get a plate carrier or they're first getting into it is they wear it way too low. The shoulder straps are down low, the front's not covered, the back plate's too low. Remember, we're not trying to protect the abdomen. We do make a specific abdomen panel that is modular and attaches two plate carriers for that purpose, but what you're looking for is the mobility versus protection equation. What plate size allows you the best protection while still maintaining mobility, depending on your situation, and it's going to vary from individual to individual. Some guys might run an 8x10 plate because it's lighter and you can be a little bit more mobile in it and you still get protection of your heart. Other guys will run a 10x12, which is an excellent middle ground and what we recommend for most people. A 10x12 plate will provide adequate protection based on its design of your heart and large surrounding blood vessels and a good portion of your lungs while still, maintaining a good amount of, while still maintaining a good amount of mobility. From there, you can move up to an 11x14 plate, which is on the extra large size. So to identify proper ride height, find the top of your sternal notch, Place your plate in your carrier and adjust accordingly on the front and back side in the best relation you can. The following image is of your lungs and your heart and large surrounding blood vessels. And finally, your rib cage. Thank you for following us on Facebook. We hope this video helps you determine how to properly fit your plate carrier and make sure you're wearing it correctly. I am wearing our Warrior DCS plate carrier, which is an outstanding plate carrier and it has some great features. We recommend you check it out at AR500.com. Hi, I'm Glenn with Independence Training. And I'm Matt with Independence Training. And today we're here at the AR500.